Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to episode 20 of the Sharpshooters Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, we hit a big, big mark on the Sharpshooters Podcast. I am your humble and gracious host, Mr. Brinsky Sharp on the ones and twos and the threes and the fours and the fives and the six. Uh, appreciate everybody that got this uh, podcast slash YouTube channel as far as it's gotten right now. Uh, almost over 350 subscribers and starting late August and appreciate everybody's support. Thank you. And make sure y'all keep commenting, keep liking, tell a friend to come subscribe to the channel and do all the first two things. But Without further ado, I got my player partners in the building. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at them. It's the lawyer. It's the man himself. Mr. Tan suit himself. <laughs> <laughs> my main man, Arlon. What's happening, brother? What's going on, dog? And uh, this guy that has this, <laughs> oh my god, just did all this talking, talking crazy, and now his whole I don't, I don't know. yo, yo, the, the haven is there. Like, you go, man. I, I just seen him get on something, Lord, he, he yo, yeah, man. <laughs> what, what What's happened, up, man? What he's a professional entertainment, bro. He's professional entertainment, bro. Sorry, <laughs> get, get you a YouTube channel so I can pull it for you, man. bro. Oh my god! Oh my god, guys! Get you a channel. That's why I you be in Hollywood, it. bro. That's why you're in Hollywood, dog. I will pub. I will pub your channel you for are, you, boy. bro. Listen, <laughs> I was saying that. I was saying earlier today. I was like, man, the Haven and Britsky deserve a TV show. I would binge watch that. Like basic, just to watch y'all, just to basic. watch y'all interact in in like life. Just y'all <laughs> watch the TV, y'all watch the sporting event together, bro. I would pay to see that. You know, I, man, I, I you know, you know me and my boy, we gotta go neck and neck every week, man. Every I week, watch. no, no, I will <laughs> refuse. I refuse to sit down with this guy. I am not bro. doing. It. He he, yeah, he's sitting down he with me now. Hey, hey, hey! Mm -hmm. Everybody that's watching, he's sitting down I'm with here, me now. I'm here no, so I'm... I won't get fined, sir. <laughs> <laughs> his, I don't know how I'm gonna get fined on my own stuff, but I'm just here. <laughs> I don't want to be fined, so and I'm gonna fill out a hurt feeling report because you hurt my feeling. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hold on, is that a, is that a skiggy cup, man? Yes, sir. This is Any, a, anytime this is you a get a pub, pub skiggy, man. Anytime you get the pub skiggy. Just Shout out to University. Tuskegee University, ladies and gentlemen, my hometown and college, and these boys' college. And you mm -hmm. see the flag, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's up for before we uh start the show. I think it's up for uh, what they call the statute of limitation. Uh hey man, how you got that flag back there? <laughs> Oh, okay, <laughs> Z fam, baby. Hey, I only, I ain't only got one. I got two. I got one right here that y'all can't even see, but I got. I'm gonna tell you right now, dog. Shout I out think to I've my been Z fam. In... I and uh, you know, uh, we got them Roshan flags too. I got one upstairs. I, got man, I'm Roshan the only one. Too. I think I've been in many, many people' houses, dog, and I, I said many, many times. I, I said. I can't say what I want to say on here, but we all know how we got them flag, how everybody got them flags. But I like, man, I ain't got one of them flags, oh, and I shit. wish I, uh, I got one of those. I got flags. one for you over here. It's right here on the wall. It's not the right same. The man. It's not the same. It's just not. not, it's not no, 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 no. Not. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do for you, Brisky? Because I know this is gonna come up later. I'm gonna make you a bet to where you can actually get one of these flags this week. We are gonna get to that. Okay. I got one for you. I got one for you. And you know what yeah. I'm talking about. We're going to get there. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we ain't going to be on here uh, long tonight or whatnot. Cause... But going to kick off the show with 
just like this. I know. Well, Alabama head new head coach Kellen DeBoer, ladies and gentlemen. Kellen DeBoer, the main man from Washington, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Kellen DeBoer coming in to take over for Nick Saban. And it's been a long when did Nick Saban retire? Last Wednesday. I can tell you, bro, it has felt like a whole month. <laughs> and it only been a week. And shout out to the GOAT. Happy retirement. But we bring in the main man, what out of Washington, Kellen DeBoer, who's a very, very good head coach. And I'm loving everything that he is assembling with this uh team right now. And just Losing a lot of, uh, well, not even a lot of recruits. We got a lot of guys staying, but uh, certain guys I wish would stay. But in the words of Malachi Moore, one of our players on the team, if they ain't wearing crimson, F them. Straight like that. Yeah, we. If you want to be here, we happy. We accept you and we still love you. If you don't want to be here, God bless you. And everything, hope that everything works out. But, hey, this is Alabama. But what do you guys think about the new hire? I'm going to let Let's you go talk. first, Armand. If I give you my hot take. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I mean... Is he a bad coach? I mean, he 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 didn't do that. He didn't do bad at Washington. You know, I don't to be honest, I don't know much about him at Fresno or I think with uh the Cougars, whatever division they were in. I don't like it. A school now granted before Nick Saban, like I said, you, you didn't Alabama had like a good run back in the uh 50, what was the coach's name, uh, Brinsky? Uh, when? What, huh? When? Uh, uh, from like the 20s to the 50s. Oh, the, 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 that long ago. Yeah, or 30s to the 50s. No, it wasn't like even that. that long ago. I know what you're talking about, but well, well, Bear Bryant was like Bear, Bear Bryant, but it was like yeah, 50 yeah. to yeah. the 80s. 50s to 80s, my bad. 50s to 80s. Um, yeah, you know, you talking Russell about Bill. legends like him. Nick Saban, and now this guy, no, this wasn't it. They knew they were supposed to get, you're supposed to go right into Texas, tell Steve Sarkeesian, get your ass out of there, come on home, come on back. That's what they were supposed to do. They didn't do it. Um, I don't think this guy's a bad coach, but I think his lack of cachet, is gonna hurt them with the recruiting for a few years until he proves himself to the younger generation. Because right now they're gonna, I think a lot of them are gonna go to some of these other teams. Like I said, the other teams with more proven quarterbacks, like Texas is gonna get a few, um, you know, Georgia is gonna get some for sure. Some of these other SEC teams gonna get some, some of these recruits. So I don't, I don't know. I Like I said, I don't really like it, but let's see they got. And um, we'll we'll see how we'll see how he makes this work. All right, that's that's what you guys say. Well, well, and last thing, if if it wasn't Sarkeesian, it Dan Lanning was a good one. I think we kind of touched on that last uh, last week. He also should have been one in consideration, but yeah, that's it. That's it for me. So, um, Kellen's been to a bunch of teams um, since 2010, since uh, since our guy, Saban, has been coaching. Kellen's been to one, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven, and this is his eighth team, okay? I'm not super sold on him because I haven't seen him really coach again. In oh, yes, you have. My fault to cut you off. Outside of my Texas Longhorns. Yeah, I didn't want to yesterday. make sure you understand. Yes, you have seen him coach. He coached. No, me. no, no. 
we can go there, but that's fine. Well, no, nah, I ain't gonna go there. I'm gonna let you start because I was cutting you off. It was a really phone. close game. But what I'm gonna say is this: I haven't seen him outside of my Texas Longhorns who beat Bama this past season. I haven't seen him really play against a lot of superstar uh, teams. Now, um, don't know too much about this coach, so I don't want to be uh, incorrect on a lot of things. Um, I saw what he did with Penix. I don't know if he can do that with Milro. I don't know if he can – if he has the – and I don't want to say star power. I don't know if he has it to bring the recruits. That's why we see so many recruits leaving Alabama at the moment. And not recruits, but a lot of players leaving Alabama at the moment. Um, I saw a post today. It's, it's close to eight transfers so far since – the uh the Nick Saban retirement announcement close to a week and a half ago. So I don't know what he's going to bring to the program necessarily. I would love to see what he does with Jalen Miro if he keeps Miro around, if Miro decides to stay at Alabama. But it's it's up in the air for Alabama right now, bro. Uh Saban did it. Damn good job coming in to the program and winning as much as he could win in the SEC. Hands down, one of the greatest coaches to ever coach in college football, period. We'll never, ever take that away from him. But I will say this. I will say this. Oh, Rinsky, why are you making this face? I will say this. I don't believe in uh, Kalen. And Bama fans that do believe in Kalen, hey, man, that's just Bama fans being Bama fans at this point. Uh, I feel like Penix is a better quarterback than Milrow, and we're going to see exactly where these guys go really soon in the next five to ten years. I don't think Kalen will even be there in the next three to five years, but we're going to see where this goes. I think this is going to be a Sarkeesian summer and we're gonna see how this rocks out so go on Misky. i'm gonna uh give you the uh, playing field mr bama fan for one sir for one for really both of you this is really awesome hire you may not have to believe in it or whatnot but you saying he's not a good coach he's an awesome coach because you see what he's done with less so imagine what I he's going to say. He was do. a bad coach. What you say? No, I ain't say it either. I don't know if he's the right coach for this job. Okay. Okay. I, he he was a bad coach. I didn't say he was a bad coach. Okay. You know what made, what, I, what said, made I said that I said he has not won against major teams. Yes, he beat Texas. Okay. We can go there. Yeah, Texas beat Bama. But that ain't y'all's okay, argument. He beat what was Texas y'all? not once but twice. Yes, he did beat Texas two times. But what was y'all's argument right about the season? This is a different Bama team. If we get back to play Texas, it's gonna be a different situation. And it all would I'm have, saying is, bro, but it did. We'll never know. All I'm saying is, bro, I don't know if he was the right coach for the team. Honestly, even with a fucking, I'm my bad. Even with a freaking three and whatever team, I mean four and whatever team that Deion Sanders coached, I would have rather seen Deion Sanders go to Alabama, bro. I, I'm gonna be real with you. I would have seen, I would rather seen because y'all's team is built off star power. It's built off of recruitment. It's built off of bringing the best of the best into our program to make it rock. And I don't see him recruiting like that. He hasn't even been able to keep. A lot of guys on this team, guys are transferring to Florida State right now. That's a fact. It's a lot of guys switching over okay. from Alabama to Florida well, State. Well, let me go ahead and educate you, sir. We really haven't. We, we lost you guys. Right You're going to lose guys regardless because that's what the transfer portal is all about. But Saban yes, didn't lose a lot yes, of guys, though. Yeah, yes, Saban has. Because the transfer portal, you can't, keep, you can't keep everybody, sir. You haven't yeah. lost as many players because the transfer portal hasn't been around that long, but he has definitely lost players. You're going to lose players. You're going to lose talent. 
You lose superstars. Uh, no, you're not losing superstars. Okay, all right. Name one superstar that we lost. I'm just asking. I just asked. I asked a question. I know you said we lose the superstars. So I, I said, I did like, y'all lose superstars? I said, did y'all lose? Superstars? If, if we losing superstars, they going to the draft. <laughs> They're not going to the portal. But you think Kalen has the same? Well, let, let before you do whatever you got to do. But Kalen DeBoer is an awesome coach. Or what not, man. I, I don't I don't know what you guys not seeing. You saying Nick Saban and I'll, Bear Bryant and all I'll, these I'll, guys. I'll, 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 I'll explain my but, 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 but uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, go. Well, I right, let me finish. You guys bringing up these guys. I'm about to say, yes, Nick had, had one national title. And then he went to the NFL. And it was an average experience. Then he came back to college. It wasn't like. Nick Saban, the Nick Saban that we know today. It is far from the Nick Saban that it was then. And then Bear Bryant came in with zero titles. Oh, and then all these guys really won majority of their championships at Alabama. And you talking about names or whatnot. Alabama has always been like one of the blue bloods in college football, like uh, Ohio State or Oklahoma. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of one of Harvard USC. Blue Blood, they, they had U, USC. I don't say that again. Years. I said if you actually Google Blue Bloods and basketball, bro, we. We're, but we're not well, talking about basketball. We talk not about basketball. I meant, I meant football. football. I meant football. We're I meant football. I meant, I meant football. I meant football. You'll actually come over some names that aren't like necessarily what we would consider Blue Blood. Like I would consider Ohio State. Michigan blue blood teams, but when I was looking at the list, I looked at this list maybe a couple weeks ago when we had the whole SEC debate. They had Harvard listed as one of the blue blood teams. Harvard so like championships. So like saying just Alabama's a blue blood, yeah, but there are a lot of blue bloods. Alabama's for Alabama Southern teams have football names, and Alabama is a big Southern school. But the point that's being missed is what everybody's gravitating towards right now is what proven coach can get me there. This coach, albeit good, isn't proven yet. He's young. And because of that, he's going to lose out to the coaches with the big reputations, the Kirby Smarts of the world, the Harbaugh's of the world the Sarkeesian of the world, you will lose out to those coaches. Uh, you will. If you ask any kid, hey, one or two coaches, Harbaugh or Kalen, he may ask you a few things about Kalen, like uh, how would he do this and that? Off Harbaugh's name alone, he's going to go. Kirby Smart's name alone, he'll go. Like really, like really, like really, that's really something to consider. That's really something. He just hasn't made his name. His name isn't made yet. He's good, but it's not and made. He hasn't been made at Alabama. Yes. But to say he's not, he hasn't been, hasn't what? been proven. Not about what? No, to say. no. I said his name hasn't been made. I'm not saying he's not a good coach. You can be good and your name hasn't been made yet. Like that, that, that can be a thing. Like well, CJ Stroud is good, but he's not a made quarterback yet. Like you can be good and not be made at the same time. Well, and we talking about competing for a championship here, right? In the yeah, SEC. but he just got there. Yeah, yeah, but not in the SEC. That there's something to be said about playing in the SEC. Two losses can can get you out, and all those teams hit different. Than his division coming from. Well, so, I, um, I got a question, Brinsky. There we go. We gotta move on. Let's be honest on this podcast. Since Bear Bryant, who is the best coach that y'all had since Nick Saban? Nick Saban. I'm like, bro, we had, the, we literally before have the goat before Nick Saban. I'm saying before Nick, y'all had a James lot of mediocre years. Y'all had a James lot of Stalin. I had a lot of mediocre years, bro, where, where 
Alabama was not the top recruiting spot. It was not and one you of know the top. We was on teams. probation too. Brinsky. These are facts. You can look it up. All the school that's been put on probation, man. Okay. But okay. We can we can go there. I, I'm just saying. I'm saying. Let's, let's if if we have up. media, if you trust me, I would take y'all Alabama. Have, media. I, I got it pulled up, Brinsky. We can go there. So who is y'all's yeah. best coach since Gene Stallings? I said him more than and once. He was okay, and he was 62 and 25, right? Gene Stallings is mediocre. I did not say he was mediocre. I'm asking. I'm asking a question. No, nah, he's not. He was a if you say Gene Stallings is mediocre, I'll, I'll, I'll answer. Ask did he I'll win a championship, no, Brisky? Did he win any championships? If you ask you. I know the answer. I'm asking. I'm he's asking. I didn't watch he's out of like that. You said you got it pulled up. I've answered. He's not mediocre. I'm asking. He's not mediocre. Did he win a championship? You have it pulled up, so you should know the answer, right? I'm looking at you right now. Did he win a championship? Okay, and I'm and I'm saying you got it pulled up. You know the answer. My brother, did he win or not? Yes. He won a national championship. Gene Stalin won a national championship. You want to bet $1,000 on it? We can bet it now. Against who? The University of Miami. He beat Miami. That 1992. Boy that boy good. That's 92. <laughs> Stop playing with Brisky. me. In the sugar bowl. you were born, Brisky. Brisky, with Antonio you Langham. Langham. I can oh, that's like me. Me. That's just like me. I'm an Alabama like... fan, sir. Chris, oh, come on, that was 1992, man. That's just like these cowboy fans who sit up here and want to live in the 90s. When I Sir, the last the championship I seen was 2020. Yeah. The last championship you seen was 2005. Brinsky, you're, you're becoming a cowboy fan. Point. This is my point. This is my point. This is my point. <laughs> a lot of players, right, they went there for the Saban era. They went there for Saban, Okay. Okay. All I was saying earlier about DeBoer, I don't think DeBoer is going to bring in the star power DeBoer. that a Nick Saban could bring in. I don't think he's going to maintain the star power. I see a lot of guys jumping ship at this moment, and it's going to get worse by the That's summer. Cool. That's, That's cool. what I think. That's just, and now if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm just calling it right now. I think it's going to yeah, get worse. Nobody's going to live up to Nick Saban's standard. Nick Saban's standard. Nobody's going to live up to Nick. That, that, that is saying, the standard. I don't care if Shark came in there. Kirby Smart wasn't going to live up to that standard. This podcast ago, what I was saying mm -hmm. about, hey, man, a lot of cats did not grow up wanting to go play for Bama. Okay? I said this. I said the SEC went forever without having a Texas team in the SEC. The first Texas team was the Johnny Manziel squad, right? Okay. What is your point? We're talking about the my coach. My point is this. My point is this. I'm not even trying to crap on them. Y'all better get ready for a that long, has nothing to do with long, the head coach. A long situation of mediocrity again. Okay. Right, bro? <laughs> Just get ready. Let me, let me ask just, you this: Just get ready. Y'all are about to look like cowboy fans at this point. Y'all are going to be like the new cowboy. I, I appreciate fans. that. It's yeah, I appreciate that. A, but let me ask you this before we move year. on. Okay, but let me you ask you this before we move on. Uh, when was y'all last championship? I only on. got three questions. When was y'all last championship? Oh five. When was the last championship before that? Mm, that's a good question. That was probably the seventies. The seventies, you sure? You sure about that? I said probably. No, nah, you, you want to look? You want to look that up real quick? So. You want to look that hey, up man. so you can? Hey, I'm, I'm gonna say this, man. I'm gonna no, 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 no. Look it up. 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 Nope, nope. I let you talk. I let you talk. Say what you want to say. No, look it up. Tell me what the last one was before that. Before Arlon, look it up and laugh at you some more. Arlon, look it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you telling me you calling us mediocre, but the, the university of about, Texas. We're, we, hey, I thought the topic was at the moment where Alabama's going to go with their But somehow Johnny Manziel <laughs> got into the conversation. But I was, hey, but what I was telling and no, Gene no, Stalling got no, into the conversation. Got, oh, thing, my brother, can I and Bear Bryant got into can the I conversation. Talk under, I brought Bear Bryant can I talk uninterrupted go ahead, go ahead. for one second? Okay. This was the point I'm trying to make, right? I made this point 
a few weeks ago on the podcast, we were talking about recruitment. I said that a lot of Texas players, some of y'all's best players came out of Texas, which is a fact. They came out of Texas. They were recruited to Alabama, okay? Right or wrong, whatever. They chose to, they chose to go play for Saban, right? Saban's one of the greatest coaches ever, right? Cool. Even Jalen Hurts, Channel View, alumni, Oscars of Houston. All I'm saying is, bro, you guys love Hurts, okay? All I'm saying, and Jalen Miro, your current quarterback, he wanted to go to Texas. Where I'm from, we grow up wanting to go. Uh, play. Can we get to the point? Because we got to move then on. I get, you, why do you got to cut me off, man? Don't do that. It's only three of us in this podcast today. Please give me my space. I'm, I'm, All I'm is, saying, don't cut me off, man. All I'm saying is this. Texas players grow up wanting to stay in Texas. The reason Johnny Manziel even went to a and was because that was a Texas team that went to the SEC. He didn't go to Alabama. He was supposed to go to Texas a and to go ball out. And what did he do to Alabama? Now, I won't go that far into this because we all know what he did to Alabama. All I'm saying is this. You guys are, are up for the next 10 years of what you guys are used to. So, hey, man, it's not before saving. What y'all are used to before saving was mediocrity. What bro. does this have to do with the new hire? You're just rambling. Just up, Kalen's not You're just it. rambling at this point. What it has to, one, go, what it has to do with that is Kalen's not it. Sir, Kalen's sir, not it. For one, you're just rambling. I would have been two, better off. Johnny been better Manziel put us the first time we beat him the second time, so he's one and one. What, what is your coach point? that can really get y'all some recruits? And that's, that's why cool. you guys got people that's ready to leave Alabama and go that's to cool. Florida. Where the they're beach they're is ready nice to leave Alabama. And the water is nice. That's why that's y'all cool. got people going to Florida right now, Florida State. Oh, no, got before, before we move on, when was their last national championship? Hey, we can talk about that last national championship all we want. No, but we did be one no. of the greatest before Texas all that. Did, wait, Texas before 2005. One of the greatest was the last one so we can move ever on. Ever play in college football <laughs> history, we beat that team when the whole nation thought we weren't gonna beat that team, and y'all couldn't even got y'all couldn't even step up to the plate and even get there. So one of the greatest and the top two, three greatest football college football games of all time. Was a Texas versus USC, and that's a fact, Jack. Hold on, so when was that? We can move on. on. We can move on because you know it's nah. a fact. We can move on. That's one of the greatest games on. ever played ever. I heard one of the greatest games ever. Y'all didn't head, play a. Nobody has said Alabama's playing one of the greatest teams ever. Nobody's ever said that. Okay, thank you, Arlon. When was the last championship they had before 05? 69. Whoa, wow. I was close. Dang. I said 70. I was close. They, they, they lost, they lost that year. That's one year. Hey, no, no, let me let me no they, they, no, they lost the they lost the 70. They won in 69. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, okay. Brisk, I want to ask you something Whatever. before we move off. Because Whatever. you were making you you were making a point. I, I said the 70s. You're making hey, a when point. the last time y'all had a uh, Super Bowl quarterback, bro. Yeah, yeah, Joe Namath. Ken Stabler or whatever that cut it out, man. But we had one. Hurt, name they, one Texas Super Bowl they quarterback. Hurt just in uh, the Super Bowl. Name name one Texas Super Bowl quarterback. Oh, I Ben Jones. Research. I know Bama. I know Bama ain't oh, had a Super oh, Bowl oh, quarterback. Oh, 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 I know Bama. I know Bama. What they got to do with anything, what? sir? They were hurt. They were hurt in the Super it's Bowl. Cool. Also, we can go there. We can go there. I said winners. A winner. I said winner. Uh, y'all when have y'all ever like had one? I mean, the, the, the same, the same, the same guys. The winning the, the, the Super Bowl for the last like what twelve years? Like Tom Brady, said, ladies and gentlemen, Patrick shout Miller. out to Kellen DeBoer. Welcome to Alabama. Hey. We just have a rambling Texas fan that's spearing out <laughs> stats that don't have nothing to do with him, but. He thought they okay, were was going to stick. Okay, but, however you want if you want to discredit Shout out mind. to that guy. But ladies hey, and gentlemen, NFL game mind, recaps uh, of the weekend. We had the Dallas Cowboys get spanked by those Packers. 
uh, the Browns get killed by the Texans, uh, the Bills beat the Steelers in the snow game. The Eagles get shot out the sky by the Bucks. Oh, what else? What other game was on this weekend? Uh, Detroit, Detroit and Rams. Detroit. Shout out that to the game. Lions. That was, that was a good a game. game against the Rams. Jared Goff went ham. Just going to ask you, gentlemen, which one was your favorite game of the week? Uh, for me, man, it was the – it was the Detroit game. Detroit versus the, the Rams. You know, you got the storylines going. You know, you have Detroit. I didn't know they've gone so long without winning a playoff game. So you have Detroit versus the Rams. Uh, Jared Goff versus his old team. And Matt Stafford versus his old team. And just some great football. Some great football. Great playing. Detroit's defense really held tall. Um, they really held tall that game, helped seal the win. Jared Goff played well. Um, his offensive line held up well for him. It was just a good game. Good game. Good game. Um, the other games were kind of blowouts, so they weren't as exciting. Um, the other game that I actually kind of liked, though, was the uh, – was the Packer game, uh, Green Bay versus the Cowboys. And uh, I thought the Cowboys were going to win, but uh, Matt LaFleur just put on a master class performance offensively over Dan Quinn. I, he did not bring his A game at all. I didn't see a lot of adjustments being made on the defensive end. And they let Aaron Jones, and a rookie quarterback and a team with no definite one wide receiver just put on a master class all over the field. And um, there's going to be some big changes uh, in Dallas coming up this season, but those were my two games of the weekend. All right. So, um, this is not in any order, uh, guys. I'll say this. The biggest surprise that came from this weekend for me wasn't even Dallas losing because Dallas, they lose every year. <laughs> Dallas is one of them teams that are so delulu that they just think that they're, they're going to win the Super Bowl every year ever since the 90s. Uh, they haven't won anything. They suck. They're terrible. You know, okay, let me not go there. But – um. I think they have a good team. It's just, bro, it's it comes down to one thing, bro. I, these guys are cursed. It's like every season the same thing happens in Dallas, man. They always get there, and they always flop. Prescott is going to have a new team by next year, hopefully, for Dallas. I'm not a Dallas fan. Nowhere, shape, size, or form. I don't like Dallas. But – it's just crazy how bad they they you know they went down, man, when they clearly supposedly had the better team. So Dallas went down. The Eagles shocked me. Let's talk about the Eagles. Why that shocked me, bro. That shocked me. Bro, I They've like been the doing it last six games. I like the books. I, I always said this, man. I said this earlier. That's why I hate, I hate, I know, I know my man's right here is a big, big Lamar Jackson fan. I wanted Lamar to switch it up, go back home to Florida, go to the Tampa Bay Bucks. I wanted Lamar with the Tampa Bay Bucks. That's a Super Bowl team. I don't think Baltimore is giving him what he needs to be a Super Bowl winner. That's just me. Everybody can argue their point. Sorry, guys. Don't agree with you. I felt like he should have went to this team because, bro, look at what Baker did with these guys, bro. They blew the Eagles out the water. They dog walked the Eagles, drug them across. And who did the Eagles miss so bad? AJ Brown. 
AJ Brown, come on, man. You gonna let one player take you out your game that bad to where y'all can't score on the Bucks? Hey, man, I'm gonna say this, man. That was the biggest shocker of the weekend. We already knew the Bills were gonna beat the Steelers. We all knew that. I didn't even have to watch the game to know that that was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? The Texans. Shout out to my squad. Shout out to my boys. They did their job. I already said we was going to beat the Browns. It wasn't, it, you know, hey, we blew out the water. Wasn't as impressive as I cannot wait to this upcoming week. But I'm going to say this. I, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to give Joe Flacco his flowers. He did what he was supposed to do. He showed, he, he had a mission to get back on an NFL team this season. His kids were too young to see him actually play when he won Super Bowls. I mean, when he won his Super Bowl. They were too young to see that. So he, his whole thing was, I want my kids to see me in a different light. I want my kids to see their dad still got something in the tank. And one thing I'm going to give to that man, bro, he came out. He did what he was supposed to do for X amount of weeks, five to six weeks. Went to the playoffs with these guys. Yes, Brinsky, I know you're going to give it to Watson. Hey, we can give it to Watson. I'm just saying this. For a 38-year-old to come in after he's been pushed out the league, he's been washed up. I call him Wacko Flacco. I'm not a Flacco fan. But let me say this, man. I'm going to give that man his flowers because he could retire tonight, tomorrow, whatever. One thing I'm going to give him, bro, if DTR was the quarterback, they wouldn't even make the playoffs, dog. They wouldn't even make the playoffs, man. Shout out to DTR, that quarterback. They wouldn't even make the playoffs, bro. They wouldn't have been able to get to the point that they made it to. And I want to just give that man his flowers while we can give him his flowers. Bro, Flacco at 38, old as hell, still came out and balled out. And showed his kids, hey, man, I still got some in the tank. And I, I salute that shit, and I commend it. But I, I give you your, your floor, Brinsky. I need about to shit on him. <laughs> just to make something really clear, did you just say DTR is the reason why they made the playoff? No, I said DTR would not have made the playoffs. Okay, just, just making I sure I heard that clearly. Yeah, just I making sure I heard that. Playoffs. Okay, playoffs. Uh, okay, that's all the thing I needed. All but right. thank you for going all over the world. <laughs> but uh, most impressive uh, win was definitely the uh, Detroit Lions. The atmosphere was definitely crazy up in the D. Shout oh, out to Detroit. Shout out to Detroit. For, uh, I didn't even for, get to that. Uh, Shout out to Detroit. Shout out to uh, Detroit for uh, doing their thing against the Rams. Golf against uh, uh, Stafford, baby. And um, with uh, Stafford returning back to uh, Detroit and going against that uh, line, uh, Pacheco, I think that's his uh, last name. This is the first playoff uh, win since 1999, uh, bro. Uh, I mean, 1991. Pacheco. 1991. I got you, sir. But uh, Pacheco being uh, uh, what's his name? Pacheco, Pacheco being one of the top rookies of the year. He will, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, he will be the number one rookie of the year. Yeah, Game's been basic for the most part. For the most part, the game's been low key, kind of basic. But um, we're gonna see in this uh, next round. I can't wait to see the uh, games that we got coming up for the uh, next round. But we're gonna move on and talk about the NFL division playoff predictions. Ladies and gentlemen, you know we got some big games this weekend. We're going to see who's going to play for the uh, NFC Championship game. 
every NFC and AFC championship game. Everybody got an idea who they want, but there can only be so many. Uh, the first game, y'all already know, first team is the away team, second team is the away. Texans, Ravens. <clears throat> well, shoot, I'll go first. I got the Ravens. Uh, Texans don't have a clear number one receiver, and I think that hurts them. I don't think Tank Dell comes back to this playoff round. So I'm going Ravens. Hey, Armand, not to cut you off, mm -hmm. Tank has been hurt. Right. Like, I don't think he comes back. I don't think he's he been comes back. Four, he's been four weeks out the game. Look at Nico Collins. But I'll let you talk. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Nico, Nico's cool. He's a good receiver. Nico but. has over 1,200 yards receiving over any of the Baltimore Ravens receivers, but I'll let you talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, he does. But CJ Stroud also has more passing yards than Lamar. You know, Lamar's a dual-threat quarterback. And also, the Ravens been beating people up so bad with this balanced offense that they don't have to throw the ball all the time. They do a lot of running. So I got the Ravens winning this game um, by two scores. I'll let you go, Bisky. Sir. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'll let you go. You're, you're the Baltimore Ravens fan. You're the Lamar Jackson fan. And these are predictions, sir. I got the Ravens. Okay. Now All who right, you got? So my prediction... I got H now, baby. Real talk. And I ain't gonna say too much on it. Um just well, get I ready. I wanna put your foot in your mouth. Get, nah, hey, honestly, bro, I got money on this one. And um I got a lot, a whole lot I want to say oh, that I could say on this podcast, bro. Yeah, I but hope you know I hope you get, I, don't, I, hope I, don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get all you know, we're gonna play our predictions right now. We ain't going, that's not a real topic. I know. Well, That's why I'm Texas. trying to get you to go ahead and say what you need yeah, to say. Yes. Uh, you already know I got the jersey on. So, hey, guys. Um, I know the world is against us right now. I got Eagles fans switching over to Ravens fans in less than 24, 48 hours. I'm going to say this much. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Do your research. Look it up. Put the stats up. Hey, just like you boys said. If Texas would have played Bama again, it would have been a whole different story. It's a whole different team. I'm going to tell you this right now. Packers 49ers. Team. I said this. It's a whole different team. Are we going to 49 oh, Shut up, bro. Sir, these no are podcast, bro. It's your podcast. you Ravens rambling. 49ers next. I'm going to cut Thank you off. You don't want to hear this. You don't want to hear this. The world don't. I'll be on Facebook, though. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. I'm on it. I'm on all that. DJ goes play though. I ain't gonna say the, nothing else because Brinsky wants to cut 49ers. me off. I got 49ers. Thank you. 49ers versus who, Brinsky? Packers. Packers versus 49ers. <laughs> I got the Packers. There you go. I can see the Packers upsetting them. I got the Packers. Mm. Buccaneers, Lions. I got the Lions. I got, I got the Lions, but I'm rooting for the Bucks, though. I'm rooting for the Bucks. I, I love the, the Bucks. Lions. They got Mike Evans. He's mm -hmm. like straight out of H Town, baby. Mm -hmm. Actually, G Town. He from Galveston. I got the Lions and possibly going to their uh I think they first NFC championship game in forever. Uh Chiefs Bills. Chiefs. Bills. Chiefs. I hope the Bills. I hope the Bills start the Texans and win the Super Bowl this year. This one's gonna be a good one. Uh this is gonna be a real good one. Uh, I'm saying go Bills. Go Bills. Go go Buffalo Bills. I think this may be Josh Allen every year to beat them. So I'm gonna go give yeah. it to the Bills. For the most part. Now, for this last, well, 
just like I said, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a, a short show for the most part this week. But I'm trying to see. It's really up in the air for any uh, type of culture topic. I can't even think of nothing this week for uh, us to talk about. We could talk about uh, it was one topic we were gonna talk talk about last week. I think it was that uh, color purple. Mm. What about it? Oh, there's, there's many ways we can go with that topic. To be honest, when we talk about uh, Taraji. Pretty much just talking about the whole production of 